Morning, thanks for uh, joining us again. We're just setting off on a little mooch. We haven't really got a, a set uh, route in mind, but we're uh, spending a couple of nights at uh, a little campsite on a farm uh, called Belmont Camping. And uh, yeah, nice little site, but unless you're starting off from there, you probably wouldn't really follow this route. So uh, yeah, if you, if you uh, want to see the area, if you just look for Marbury Country Park, and you'll be able to see most of what we, uh, we're uh, hoping to explore today. So we're just setting off in the direction of uh, Marbury Country Park now and then have a, an explore around there and uh, on down to hopefully um, Anderton Boat Lift, which should be interesting. So why not stick around and see what we see along the way. little patch of uh, woodland already quite pleasant I'm really looking forward to this walk because if you don't know Cheshire it's very flat there's no hills to climb so uh, having said that I can see one in front of me right now so uh, you might be disappointed <laughs> and of course the Anderton boat lift they must have built it to climb up something mustn't they so uh, it can't be that flat. Yeah, just over to the side of us now we've got uh, Budworth Mere, which is actually in uh, Marbury Country Park. So we'll kind of hopefully uh, skirt round behind that, get a bit closer. Um, last time I was there, it's years ago now, but uh, it's a reasonably decent uh, bird watching area and it used to be renowned ages ago or as, a, as a, an area where you could see lesser spotted woodpecker but uh, I've not seen any reports in any of the uh, I think it's Manchester Birding uh, Forum or anything like that recently and uh, I never saw one there anyway I ended up uh, spotting my first one uh, just a few miles away in Delamere Forest just completely out of the blue but uh, yeah you can see the mere opening up there behind us now just in uh, Marbury Country Park now no hole in any in here anymore I've just been reading a board saying uh, that it looks like it's it was originally a, a timber framed structure and it was extensively remodeled over the hundreds of years um, clad in brick and all of that but obviously the uh, the timber structure remained underneath so um, Eventually in 1968 it was just riddled with uh, dry rot so they had to demolish it but you can still see all the uh, avenues of lime trees and everything and uh, some of the steps up to where the hall was and all of that sort of stuff. It's, uh, it's a lovely park full of people walking dogs and just enjoying the uh, sun uh, sunshine at the beginning of March but uh, yeah nice place have a look at these uh, avenues. Imagine all the uh, horses and uh, carriages coming up and down to the hall along these. Yeah, quite fabulous. Uh, I'll just uh, 
get back to Maria and we'll see if we can get down by the uh, the mere for a bit. The Bubbleworth mere is just down to the side of it. Must have been a uh, fabulous place to live back in the day. Yeah, it's uh, not really our normal sort of place to go for a walk, but uh, quite pleasant, isn't it? Yep. Lovely along here, down by the lake, loads of bird life. So, uh, hundreds of gulls, mainly uh, black-headed gulls. In uh, a different era, I might have been scanning them to see if I could find a Mediterranean amongst them, but... No. <laughs> Life's too short. Come up to the uh, Trent and Mersey Canal now. So we're going to uh, cross over here and just carry on down the towpath. And that should lead us to Anderton Boat Lift. and uh, see if I can tell you a little bit more about it. I'm not really read up on it, so uh, I'll, uh, what, I, what I can't remember, I'll uh, put up on the screen after doing a bit of Googling. So up at the top here is the uh, Trent and Mersey Canal. And we've got two troughs that are um, raised and lowered, taking boats actually floating in the water and that drops them down to the uh, weaver navigation down below. See if I can uh, find an angle to give you a shot how far down it is to the weaver navigation. to find a, a board to read up. I think it was 1875 it was opened, uh, as I say, to carry boats up from this uh, level, Weaver Navigation, up to the Trenton Mersey Canal, and Northwich, which is nearby, is a real big industrial town, um, built on the salt industry mainly. So uh, obviously this was a great way of distributing the product around the country. Um, in the 1980s the engineers inspected the uh, lift and decided it was no longer safe so it was closed down and um, shortly after the Anderton Boat Lift Society was uh, formed and they campaigned and fundraised over years and the work was gradually done and eventually it was reopened in 2002 and it's still working today and you can actually uh, take your canal boat into there and uh, go up and on and uh, continue your journey along the Trenton Mersey Canal. Quite an amazing structure.
Yeah, that was interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, let's have a look around. No charge to get in or anything. But, uh, yeah, you can get right down under the lift and all that sort of thing. And there's loads of display boards to tell you all about it and uh, how it worked with the, it was actually a um, counterbalance of the two caissons full of water. They just pumped a little bit of water out of one of them and then the, the heavier weight of the other one did uh, all the work in just uh, dragging the, um, you know, dragging the caisson down and then it wouldn't quite level up. So back in, uh, when it was first opened, they had a, a steam engine just to get it the, the last few uh, feet or whatever into place. And then when it was recommissioned, I think they did it with hydraulics. Uh, but apparently, I think the uh, the weaver navigation has got uh, salty water, and uh, that used to corrode the old um, hydraulic workings and everything, you know. So uh, hence why it needed, uh, you know, recommissioning and rebuilding. It was uh, getting uh, eaten away by the salt. Right, so. Uh, Five miles here, so we've got the uh, small matter of five miles back now. Ooh. But uh, <laughs> all nice and flat though, really. So uh, we'll just uh, have a mosey back and then uh, get ourselves ready for a beer afterwards. I think. Right, we're just getting back to the campsite now. Had a good little meander, haven't we? Uh, turned out it's just shy of 10 miles, maybe nine and a half, something like that. But uh, yeah, it was good we uh, got to where we tentatively were heading for, which was the Anderton boat lift. And uh, had a good uh, look around there, it was really interesting. And uh, now, we're just going to get uh, scrubbed up and then we might bring you back at the end for a, a cheers when we get back to the uh, the local pub but uh, thanks very much for watching hope you've enjoyed it I know it wasn't uh, anything up in the mountains but uh, another little uh, mooch about in the countryside and that's uh, the main thing and getting out and doing something so uh, thanks again for watching See you very soon. All the best to you and take care. We're in the Cocker Budworth uh, on Holtz's Two Hoots. Cheers. Yeah.